it's April Holly Smith, and it's time to shop. All right, friends, here it is. This is my first full-blown, boom, regular haul. So today, um, if you are interested in how to grocery shop, how to do it with wisdom, <laughs> and a budget and you want to understand the why behind the things that people buy because you can watch people buy stuff all day long but sometimes it's like why, why did they do that or what's the what's the method behind the madness this is the right channel for you so you're going to want to click subscribe and get the bell because we do that here so today's plan $100 I'm going to go to save a lot and I'm going to go to Aldi's and we're going to talk about what happened at Dumas because <laughs> that didn't go well um, I sent Chris for it, which is, it's, it's kind of, it has happened in the past, but it has not happened on the shopping trip to me. So let's go to Save a Lot right now. which means they have a bunch of this stuff and this is what we're looking at a whole one gosh I haven't had one of these in a long time 13 down 12 20 I think I might get that one save a lot of milk and egg prices okay that's high their eggs are high too what their cage free eggs are more expensive but only nominally and then big one down here still expensive okay so I just got done with save a lot and I spent way more money at save a lot than I expected to but because we're not going to Dumas this week um, so let me tell you about Dumas okay so Chris went to Dumas today and he thought he was gonna run in and get some stuff and he's like well I'll be in Randolph which is like five miles from it it's way closer than like than we live to it so it's like okay here's my list you're gonna know this okay this is gonna be real familiar to you. pepperoni breakfast sausage and lard so um, they have a huge sign up that says this so needless to say he didn't get anything um, and I took that money back off my budget list of my list budget and I spent it here I spent $59.88 so we're gonna round that up to 60 because that makes easy math 60 from 100 is 40 so I have $40 to spend at Aldi's which is my next stop and I think everything on my list is good with that uh, with the exception of I had they had some on sale bacon it was two for five dollars and I just couldn't find it so and to be honest I spent that five dollars on something way better <laughs> so I'm not sorry you know it's like I don't feel like I don't feel sorry for it so um got a couple of impulse buys there and actually I can not wait to show you what I got here so stay tuned until the end let's go to all these right now oh and I'm gonna show you the weather here it's nuts just not cool milk and egg prices and once again we have a, a cart here a cart there and a third cart so they've got plenty of stock milk's limited same prices we have a lot of empty spaces this aisle has just been decimated the toilet paper I mean they have some toilet paper but like the cat and dog food salt uh, what is this paper towels just all kinds of stuff. Two ply facial tissue, tissue with lotion, double wide, mega roll, all of these are gone. And there's also limits on some of this stuff. So um, limit on the paper towels, limit, limit, limit. Also, no one's following the one way to anything. Just saying. So obviously they got some flour in and they have sugar in this week. They're so pretty, like. Lego bricks. Um, but 
we do have some holes in this aisle. I'm in the, the canned food aisle. And you can see there's like some soup stuff. Um, a lot of soup stuff that's missing. Um, weird evaporated milk we're out of. I don't know. That's strange to me. We got some yeast we're out of. Okay. Okay. I finally just got out of Aldi's. I went in, did all my shopping, came out, started to film, and then it was like, uh, no. So what happened is, is I realized on my receipt, while I was not under, or I'm not over, I'm gonna wipe this because there's some snowflakes on there. Um, my price, it seemed higher than I expected. So I was looking at my re my receipt as I was photographing it for you. Um, I see that they charged me $1.38 for my eggs. And I know you've been watching this video because you've made it this far. And you saw eggs were $1.03. So I had to go in and have that done. So I paid $2.06 for my eggs after they did a refund, blah, blah, blah. It was a rigmarole, so it made me a little crunchy on time. All these was way more out of stuff than save a lot, as you can see. There wasn't a ton of, oh, they're, on their ad, they had 79 cent, which isn't even a great price for uh, chicken thighs. Like 59, 69 is my go-to price but you know when you need stuff it's it's okay it's acceptable especially when people need stuff they had chicken legs like the drumsticks and no thighs none at all Pfft, wiped clean so I spent $39 and 26 cents minus 60 cents <laughs> oh well so 20 or 38 something so um, I'm under like by a dollar something, which is great. So I am pretty excited to show you the meat deals that I got to save a lot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get home, get this unloaded so you can see it right now. Yes, I totally have a ginormous haul with a ton, a ton of meat. Cause there's actually stuff under here you can't even see yet. So let's start right here. All these, I got two of these at 85 cents. These were hard to find. Everyone knows mushroom is the best flavor and I had to really dig to find them. Limit of two, I got two. To go with them, these rotini was the only one they have. I prefer the butterflies, but um, these were 79 cents, also a limit of two, so I did get my limit of those. And we got these two. Uh-huh, look out. I got two of the barbecue sauce, the Bermans. These were 99 cents oh, each. And then we have this. All right, Lily, are you helping me right now? Yeah. What happened this morning? Uh, I got you, you got a shot? Yeah, I got a little whale. All right. No, I want you to let me film. Okay, so I did get two of these potato puffs. They're $1.59 each. Um, they're actually a pretty decent price for frozen potatoes. It's not terrible. Um, not as good as when I buy them at Sam's. When you buy the eight pounds at Sam's, but you don't have to buy eight pounds, you know, at a time. So, uh, also, I'm there, so we did get these. I got three breads, 85, 85, 85. There was not a limit on bread. I got two things of carrots. These are two pound bags. They're $1.49. That's a regular price, but I find carrots keep very, very, very well in the refrigerator for a long time and still taste good. So I'm going to be keeping these and also the kids can kind of snack on those. It doesn't bother me. There's a limit on butter. $2.99 was, is a regular price. Limit of two, but I did get two of those. It did get my limit. Yes, I went down the aisle of savings and I did get sucked into this. This was $4.99, but I literally knew exactly where I was going to use it, so I felt like it was a good purchase for me. Okay, so there's so much here. Um, and these onions were $0.99 cents for a two-pound bag, so I got one, two of those. Then these were on sale for $0.99 cents at Save a Lot, and they're... I think they are a 12 ounce, but I thought they were a pound. But anyway, I got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. I thought I got eight of them, but maybe I only got seven. Because uh, I did leave a couple. I had ten on my list, but that's cool. Got a markdown. So this, their markdowns have changed. It a lot. It used to be it was 50% off. Now it is 30% off and they have to have a sign because people are too dumb to do the math. And I'm going to take you over here to find it. Bottom roast, 952. 
30% minus $2.80, and jeez, oh, sorry about that, it's 30% off, so it was nine fifty two minus the two eighty five. So that you still have to do math nine eight seven three four so seven thirty four. Not terrible, but not great. It was an expensive roast, but it was really pretty and I really wanted it. Sometimes I just want a nice piece of beef. Okay, so then this was on sale for a dollar forty nine. These say a whole center cut boneless loin. Um, it is literally the center, it's like a third. So for a dollar forty nine, that's a go to price. I got three, so I just got five, ten, just about fifteen dollars worth of pork loins. Uh, these are all center, so just as they are pictured here, you can cut them into um, boneless chops, or you can just put it in as a um, uh, a roast. If you are a single person or a couple, this is a nice size. For a couple with a, a leftovers or if you're a single person you can cut it right down in half one one same thing like you can have a roast and then leftovers so anyway i got three of those good price i got heaps are gross they're 75 cents on markdown for these kids they love them these are 99 cents they're a regular price they're peanut butter crackers um these are road snacks i like to keep them in the car yeah okay I got two things of hamburger buns. They were 85 cents each. Oil, $3.89. Now I got eight cans of tuna. They were all 69 cents, but I got four of them from Aldi's and four of them from Save-A-Lot. So there's a limit at Aldi's and not at Save-A-Lot. Got these, because kids enjoy these, $2.95. The, the infamous eggs. They were a dollar three on the door, which you saw Charged me a dollar thirty-eight. Had to go back in and get my change for that. And then these guys. Whoa, these are ginormous. Okay, so there are two of these. Seventeen pounds. Huge. And then I got a second one that is another seventeen pounds. So um, these, I they're huge. I don't want to put them in the freezer. Huge. I'm actually going to put them in the crock pot like to put them in four o'clock in the afternoon that way they're done in the morning for me totally cooked completely falling apart then I like to debone it and um, at that point you can shred it uh, you might have noticed buns and uh, barbecue sauce for pulled pork because that's the number one thing but another thing is when you shred it and you can use it for tacos you can use it for casserole meat all kinds of things but I really prefer to get this bad boy broke down and cooked before I put it in the freezer, just so that I can have it in meal size portions. So that is a ton, a ton, a ton of food. And you saw I came in about $2 under budget. So thank you for watching, like, and subscribe, and we will see you next time.